Now we'll be attaching the stem to your strawberry. Find the last round of your strawberry where you cinched it closed and place your stem directly over top. When you're happy with the placement, use your pins to hold the stem in place. Insert your pins at the base of the stem rather than on the leaves. If you have an extra strand of yarn left from your magic ring, you could just push that to the side and we can hide it later. Thread your yarn tail through your needle. Attach the stem by sewing it to the strawberry around round 6 of the stem, leaving the leaves made in round 7 to remain unattached. Whenever you're inserting your needle into the strawberry, be sure that you're not going too deep to go just under the surface of your stitches so that you don't bring up any stuffing. Continue pushing your needle through the stem and down through the strawberry and back up again to attach the stem securely. Continue sewing all around the stem, leaving the leaves unattached. When you finish sewing, you'll need to secure your yarn tails. Secure your yarn with a knot at the base of your stem. Hide your yarn tail in the strawberry. Make sure that you insert your needle underneath the stem a bit so that you won't be able to see that green yarn on the outside. Do the same with the extra strand. Cut any remaining yarn tails. Make sure that they're hidden inside. If you need to, you can use the end of your yarn needle to push them in a bit further. Now assembly is complete. Time to move on to embroidery. Next, let's embroider a smile on the strawberry. The smile should sit over rounds 8 and 9, so starting at the magic ring, count up to round 9. Using black yarn or thread on a yarn needle, We'll center our smile between the eyes over four stitches. Use the front and back ends of your yarn needle to judge if you're in the right spot. You may need to move over a stitch. Try to keep each end of the smile at the same distance from the eyes on both sides. When you're satisfied with the placement, thread your black yarn through the stitches where your needle already sits. Next, insert your yarn needle into the same stitch where your other black yarn tail is coming out. Find the center of the smile two rounds down from where you started the smile. Push your needle through that center mark. Don't pull it too tightly though, we need to make the smile dip down. Pull the smile down so that it meets that center mark. You may need to adjust the smile by tightening or loosening your strand of yarn. When you're satisfied with how your smile dips, it's time to secure that dip.
take your yarn needle over the smile and under. Double check your placement and adjust your yarn as needed. When you're happy with how the smile sits, take your yarn needle through that same stitch and up to the top of your smile where your other yarn tail is. Pull the yarn tightly so that your smile is secure, but not too tight that it pulls the smile into your stitches. Cut your yarn. Tie the yarn tails together and hide the ends inside. After you've pushed your yarn tails to one side, you may want to use your yarn needle while you pull them all the way through so that you don't pull the smile through the stitches. Cut off any excess. Now we'll embroider the eyebrows. I like to use pins to help me identify where I should embroider. The inside of the eyebrows will begin two rounds above the eye. The eyebrows will be about four stitches wide and they will slant downward toward the outside of the eye and down one round. Now I'll mark the other eyebrow, again two rounds above the eye on the inside. Make sure that you're happy with the placement. Now four stitches away from the pin and down one round toward the outside of the eye is where I'll insert my yarn. Using black yarn or thread, insert your needle through the stitch that you just identified as the outside of the eye. Push your needle through to where the pin is located, identifying the inside of your eyebrow. Remove the pin. Pull your yarn through and check the placement of the eyebrow. Insert your yarn needle through the outside end of your eyebrow where your other yarn tail is. Push your needle through to the outside end of the other eyebrow. Tighten up the yarn and again check that you like the placement. Working on the other eyebrow now, check the placement of your yarn. Remove the pin and insert your yarn needle into the space that was marked with the pin. Push the yarn needle through and pull the yarn out in between the eyebrows. Make sure that you're happy with the placement of both eyebrows. Cut the yarn. Take the end of the yarn that you just cut and thread your yarn needle. Push the needle through the outside end of the eyebrow and have it come out in that same spot between the two eyebrows in the forehead area. When you're happy with the placement, tie your yarn tails together. Now we need to hide the ends inside. Thread your two yarn tails through the needle. Push your yarn needle through to the other side. Use your yarn needle to hold stitches in place as you pull. When you've finished, cut off the excess. Push any visible yarn tails inside.
Now we'll embroider the seeds on the strawberry. Thread the needle with white yarn or thread. Embroider white lines around your strawberry about two stitches wide. Insert the needle under the stitches that you want the seed to be located. Pull the yarn through so that you have plenty of yarn to do your embroidery. Insert your needle through the space where the seed begins. Push your needle through past the seed that you're currently working on, where you want your next seed to start. Now you'll insert your hook about two stitches away from the start of the seed you're working on and push your needle through to the spot where you want your next seed to start. Repeat this process making seeds about two stitches wide. When you've finished making seeds, push your yarn needle through to where your other yarn tail is located. Make sure that you've gotten all the seeds that you like. Cut your yarn and tie the two tails together. Thread the tails through your yarn needle and hide them inside. Again, use your yarn needle to hold the stitches so that you don't pull the seed through. Cut the excess yarn. And you're done! You've just crocheted a strawberry.